Yes, how was it having Joven back for his first practice back today? Put a smile on my face. He's a he's a funny kid. Uh, he's got a good personality, but you know he's a talented talented soccer player. So happy to have him back. How much interaction did you have with him the last couple of years while he was in Germany? Yeah, just text back and forth. You know, we keep tabs on him. You know, he was obviously busy. He's not keeping tabs on me. He's keeping tabs of on his teammates, the Sounders, all that sort of stuff. But, you know, just a couple texts back and forth here and there. I always wished him luck. I thought, you know, his time in Germany was successful. So it's it's a good story. You said, what does, you said uh, funny kid. What, was there something in particular? Well, he likes to joke around. He's got a good personality. He fits in with the group. Uh, he, he, he's just, he makes people smile. Yeah, what does it mean for the club to have players come back? You know what I mean? It's just got to say something about the coaching, the front office, everybody involved. Yeah, I think it's organizational. I think if you look at, you know, when players leave the club, it's, it's, it's can be challenging at times. We try and do the best job that we can uh, to you know, let them go with the right amount of respect, uh, the right amount of thanks, the right amount of, you know, uh, just integrity. And I think in Joven's case, you know, look, he, he wanted to go and play in Europe. He wanted to see what he could do. He wanted to, you know, see if he could make it there. And deep down inside, he knew, he felt that he was still part of this club and that he always had a landing spot if, if if you ever wanted to come back. So I think that's just, that, that's, that, that's his particular story. I'm on a high level, what does it say about Major League Soccer, the growth that players come back? Or I mean, yeah. Well, we're, we're creeping up there. I mean, we got a ways to catch Liga MX and some other big leagues, but we, I believe in the statement that, that our ownership makes and that the league people make, that we want to be the, one of the biggest leagues in, North America, South America, so why not? In terms of uh, returning, how much has changed or that he fit in well with the team still, or I'm sorry, with your tactics? Or? We look pretty good out there just now. I mean, it's clean on the ball, keeps possession. You know, he, he, he runs fast, but he doesn't look like he's running fast. So he's, he's a, a good soccer player, happy to have him. Would you say he's improved since he left? Or? I'll, I'll wait a little bit, Jada, before I make that determination. I'll have to see if he gets through some of Damien's fitness work. He was arguably the best left back in MLS the last time he was here. Now you've got Brad Smith, you've got Nuhu. Like, how are you going to handle this sort of embarrassment or riches you have at the position? Well, I think both, both Joven and Brad can play up a line. You know, the, the, the rotation that we used when Nuhu and Joven were together, you know, I can still use that, bring Nuhu to close out, you know, guys like, you know, fast guys, you know, we can always use that as a tactic. Um, Joven actually for his national team played right midfield and cut in on his left. So there's, there's some opportunities. And then of course, you know, the, the logistics surrounding Brad are still up in the air. So. You know, we're, we're going to take each week that we have all three of them as a blessing, and we'll see what shakes out. You uh, mentioned, I think yesterday, maybe about the defense or not being spe uh, especially happy with the defense. Um, what have you kind of worked on or seen from the team to correct that from the last game? Well, I mean, look, the, the, the goals that we took um, from Johnny Russell, I think we could have done better individually. You know, was that a group tactic? Did we lose the ball higher up the field? We discussed all that stuff on film. We're going to be facing another guy in Barrios, who's an extremely dangerous attacking player. And that's where that flexibility comes in. We can put Nuhu out there, you know, to shut him down, push Brad up a line. We can add Joven into the mix. I mean, those are the, those are the, that's the nice thing about having guys with different skill sets. Uh, on that point, uh, is Joven available for this weekend if you deem him available, um, you know, healthy and fit? Yep. What about Victor? He trained in full. Yeah. All all players trained in full. That's, that, 
that left side is played particularly well. It seems like they understand each other. How quickly, how quickly do you think Jovan could potentially get used to the way you guys play? And really he, he's used to it already. I mean, his skill set is, you know, pretty conducive to being a little bit flexible. And then on top of that, what I saw out there today, I mean, he remembers Christian, he remembers some of the guys, Roman. I mean, he knows he knows some of the guys on the team, so it's not that big of a deal. What's your reaction to the open cup draw? <laughs> What's a smile on my face? We're gonna we're gonna go down to Cheney Stadium and put a good team out there and try and beat our arch rival. What more could you ask for in the open cup? Were you happy to hear that it was gonna be at Cheney Stadium? Yeah. I think I think Cheney's done a good job. I, I've driven down there, and you know, obviously, there's a lot of history here at Starfire, you know. But those are decisions that are out of my control. But you know, the atmosphere down there in Cheney, I'm sure, is going to be a good one. Is is a coach logistically? Do you like the sort of regional draw and sort of keeping it close for the first couple rounds, or would you rather like to sort of see other teams? No, I think regional is the way to go. I mean, look, with the condensed schedule. You know, we've already got a ton of midweek games, and then you add these types of games in there. I think it's, I think it's pretty common sense that it stays regional for a while. Sort of on similar lines. I don't know if you saw the news about the Champions Cup that MLS is coming out with, yeah, adding it. even more games. What was your reaction to that idea and sort of how it might? Factor? Well, again, those are those are things above my pay grade. I mean, as a soccer fan, I would say I'm for them. Now, if you ask me, when I have my coaching hat on I might you know okay well how are we going to fit that in but any sort of you know competition to raise the level of our league um, you know certainly the teams that are that are that are coming up coming north are, are good teams so it'll be it'll be an interesting competition uh, how do you begin to prepare and maybe rotate certain elements uh, to get ready for so many international departures of the team well, I take my list that I got off Sounder at heart, so I know who's going to be here and who's not. And then I make decisions based on who's available.